of the excellent networking opportunities in here. So let's go. Well, thank you. being the CEO of your life, taking charge and control. And we've got Coach TMV with us here, affectionately called Coach TMV. Her name is Teresa Blakely, as mm -hmm. I know her. <laughs> and I think we'll kind of start off with Teresa. All right. Uh, Teresa, thank you so much for joining us here today. Uh, She's over 14,000 listeners every week on our show. Woohoo! Yes, and, and, and growing because you've only had a show for a year, mm -hmm. but you're so awesome and hot, so people follow you. That's for sure. And Teresa, tell us just a little bit about this life coaching thing because, you know, when I think about being a coach, I'm 18, I'm grown, I don't need anybody else to tell me what to do with my life anymore. I just want to live my life and be grown. Mm -hmm. Why get a coach? You know what? That's the thing, Monica. A lot of times people feel like they don't need a coach, but when you when you begin to take an inventory and do some reflective thinking um, and you look back over your life, a lot of people missed out on the goals or the dreams or the aspirations that they wanted to achieve, right? Mm -hmm. And they felt like, you know, I can do it myself. Well, really, that's the whole purpose of having a coach because if you were going to do it yourself, it would have been accomplished. So my job as a coach is to come alongside of you. Um, I'm, I'm like the coach that's out there on the football field or the, or, or the basketball court. I'm the one that gets inside of your head oh. to help you figure out what that game plan is okay. and help you put it all together, whatever those pieces look like, and then I'm the one that, that holds you accountable. And then I also cheerlead. I'm on the sidelines cheerleading when you get out there and you are accomplish and you achieve whatever it is that you say you want to do. Not what I want you to do, but whatever you say you want to do. Now, how do you deal with that? When people figure out in their life that I need some kind of direction or I need somebody to get in my head so I can get in the game, what do you do? I mean, how do they find you? What, what goes through their head? Uh, how do they submit to whatever it is that you're asking them to do? You know, it is so cool because I just had a, a young lady from Florida um, who just contacted me, and she's been following me on Twitter. Mm -hmm. So shout out to social media. Okay, <laughs> yeah, we're going to talk about that, that's for sure. So at any rate, um, she uh, got in contact with me, and, and we uh, spoke over the weekend, she, and she kind of shared some things um, that she wanted to do with her life and just kind of where she was. And so she said, you know what, Coach TMB, I want to bring you on as my coach. And so, you know, what I do, Monica, I'm not a counselor, I'm not a therapist. Okay. Um, I'm a coach. So there's a distinct difference there's between the counselor, the therapist, difference. I have all of them, and then the coach. Yes. Okay, gotcha. Yes. So my job is to help, okay, this is what you're dealing with, Monica. Okay, my job is to help push you forward. Okay. I don't want to see you stay wherever you're at. Oh. My job is to help push you forward. Okay. Whereas a counselor or a therapist, they want to talk to you and walk you through, you know, whatever life issues um, you were dealing with. And you mm -hmm. kind of stay there. Sure. Um, my job is to help get you out of that place, whatever that looks like. Oh. And everybody is different. It's on an individual basis. Mm -hmm. I, I love that. Tell us what are some things that you, I know you can't give us client information, <laughs> but tell us what are the things that you've been coaching people about. One of the biggest things that I have been coaching people about is living life on purpose, first oh, and foremost. a purpose. Yes. So we all have a purpose here. Yes, we do. All right. Yes, we do. I don't it. care. You know what? It doesn't matter to me what walk of life you come from. If you come from influency, if you come from a life of poverty, if you come from a life of middle class, each and every one of you out there has a purpose and it may not be it may not be so uh, connected to your job but there is a uh, there is something that you were specifically put into this earth to do okay. I always describe it to my um, persons you know when I'm talking or when I'm doing groups is this there's a specific problem in the world Monica and you were the person that was created who has the solution to fix or address whatever that problem mm, is. That is powerful. Just for the sake of redundancy, because it, it like hit me like a Mack truck when you said that, and I'm sure it hit a few other listeners. Say that one more time. 
time, Teresa. There is a problem in the world. And you, my friend, whoever you are, I'm speaking directly to you. You were the one that was created with the specific solution to fix and or address whatever that problem is. And I love that. That speaks to my heart. That speaks to being a networking diva. And that speaks to connecting because we're all meant to be connected in some way, shape, or form. So I just love that, Teresa. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. I want to know one more secret. Yes, ma'am. Do they tell you any dirt, or, you know, any good stuff while you're coaching them or what? They do. They do. And we kind of, you know, work through that. Oh, okay. So it's like I learned some deep, dark share. secrets. Okay. <laughs> so it's not like anything we can share on air. Okay. No. Rats. Okay. <laughs> you know, I like the juicy stuff, too. I know. You like the juicy okay, stuff. I, you know, I have been amazed at some of the things I've heard. You know, a lot of people are dealing with family issues, like from childhood, mm. which has hindered them and held them back from being the adult. Okay. You, you know what I'm saying? Sure. So, a, a lot of times, you know, even in our initial uh, consultation, I have to just sit and listen. And my job is to not give you advice, like I said earlier, but I ask probing questions, and I dig. And the objective from me doing that is I need you to begin to listen and hear what's coming out of your mouth. Because a lot of times we as people, we just talk and we're not really listening or hearing what we're saying. That's right. We say some very negative things that counteract or that are counterproductive to where we want to be in life. Absolutely. I can't. Yes. I don't ever. A lot of negative Mm self-talk. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, and you know what? Speaking of that negative self-talk, you're going to be helping us... uh, uh, coach TMD is going to be on our Networking Divas online Absolutely. class. Absolutely, yes I am. And we're going to be talking about that yes. self-talk, that negativity, and how to dispel that, yes. and how to get beyond to Absolutely. the next level. Absolutely. So you will not want to miss that for sure. Now, every sport does have a coach. Okay? Absolutely. I mean, we pay billions of dollars a year to see all types of sports. And they have a coach. Somebody that's in their head, somebody that gets them into the game, and it leads them on to victory. Every team has to have a coach. Absolutely. Where can they find you? Because I'm recommending Coach T myself, (laughs) okay? Where can they find you? They can find me right now um, on my, uh, at uh, coachtmb.wordpress.com. But where can they listen every week? They can, they can get there from there also, but blogtalkradio.com forward slash Coach TMB. And we definitely recommend her as one of our networking divas. If you want to get your head in the game of life and you need a life coach, please see. Right here. Coach TMD. (laughs) And, you know, we just appreciate you coming on air just to talk to us a little bit about we have a purpose. And there's nothing wrong with getting out of the humdrum day-to-day things in our life that we don't think that we have a purpose. Mm -hmm. There's a bigger plan for all of us here. So, you know, this is running on a Sunday, so we're not going to get all spiritual or religious. But we are going to say, hey, you have a purpose and you have a plan. That's right. Get to it. Get your head in the game. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, Monica. My name is Chris Mathis, motivational speaker and author of the best-selling book, From Success to Significance, The Eight Keys to Achieving Any Goal or Dream. Uh, Real quick, I just want to take a few minutes and talk to you today about fear. Uh, It's one of those things that so many people struggle with today when when it comes to going after their goals and their dreams, and they allow fear to be the stumbling block or the obstacle that that they just don't get over to, to achieving the goal or dream that they have for themselves. And uh, with that being said, I'm reminded of a short story about a soldier who was captured on the other side of enemy lines. And uh, he was taken to one of the captains and and put in a jail cell. And the captain came over and he asked him, now that we've caught you, we're not going to let you just walk out of here. You've got two choices. We're either going to put you in front of the firing squad tomorrow morning or you can take that door over there. And he looked at the captain and he said, well, what's outside the door? And he says, "I, I can't tell you. All I can tell you is unknown horrors. And he said, okay, can you give me to the morning to think about it, and I'll have an answer. And the captain was okay with that. And so the next morning finally came around, and the captain went to me and said, so what is it going to be, the firing squad or the door? And the soldier said, since I don't know what's outside the door, I guess it's going to be the firing squad. And the captain said, are you sure? And he says, yes. And he took him out to the firing squad, and they shot him dead. And 
during this time, the captain's assistant came over and she said, sir, what's outside that door? And the captain sighed with a deep breath and he said, freedom, but very few are willing to take it because it's unknown. How many times have you had an opportunity to take the door, but you refused to, to cross through because you weren't sure what was on the other side? Or, or you were afraid that the grass may not be greener on the other side? Or, or maybe it was just simply because you've become so complacent and comfortable in your current situation. The whole point of this is it's important and it's vital to your success that you make the decision to take the leap of faith, to just go and see what's over there. Anything over there, it can't be worse than what you're currently going through. So it's important that today you make the decision to go after your dreams because tomorrow is too He's late. Got the spark. He's got the spark. They got the spark. You need the spark. You can get it at Monica Sparks.